Let's turn to breaking news now out of The Hague. And the International Criminal Court has sentenced former Congolese Vice President Jean-Pierre Bemba to one additional year in prison for bribing witnesses. Now, Bemba is already serving an 18-year sentence for war crimes committed in the Central African Republic. Prosecutors said he worked to manipulate at least 14 defense witnesses into lying in that trial. And TRT World's Fidelis Samba joins us now live in the studio uh, for further analysis. Retroactively adding a year onto an 18-year sentence, how does that work and why? Well, the ICC is trying to send a strong message because right from the first trial of Thomas Bula uh, Lubanga, where they had cases of trying to prove actually uh, the evidence before them because apparently some of the witnesses had been uh, induced either maybe financially or through threats. So this is something that they've been trying to guide against because even in the case of the uh, president of uh, Kenya, uh, uh, Kenyatta, and his deputy, William Ruto, the, the, there was no enough proof because apparently there were allegations that some of the witnesses had been uh, compromised. And because of that, they couldn't really come up to give evidence against them. So they couldn't, the, the case didn't continue. So this is something that the ICC has been battling. And this is the first direct you know, trial of people who have been accused of tampering with witnesses. And this is like sending a very strong message that, look, it's not going to be business as usual because it's been really frustrating for the ICC. And I think this would, uh, to some extent, um, also try to deter others who might want to to a similar line to frustrate proceedings at The Hague. Okay, so obviously they hope this will work as a deterrent of sorts. Do you think it will? Well, to some extent, because this is like, um, uh, this, before now, people were getting away with it. Other lawyers, other defense lawyers now will realize that, look, the, a similar tip-off, because this was be as a result of someone tipping off the ICC to investigate, and which led to uh, the outcome and then also presenting this in court and then trying to more like uh, handing out this sentence today. With these, other lawyers will be more careful, even other um, members of legal teams of those who are standing trial at The Hague will be more careful that we could get caught and there are consequences. Because before now, there were no direct consequences. It was a case of, okay, we, we tamper with witnesses, we get away with it, but now there are consequences and people will be more careful. And maybe the ICC also might be tougher. Maybe uh, this is just the first time the next time someone gets caught, I don't think they'll be this lenient. They might get tougher with their sanctions. Okay. Fidelis, thanks so much for joining us.